Hey guys, in this video, we'll be walking through how to use a calendar invite within your email. I'm recording this on October 8th, but you're gonna be watching it after or on kind of October 12th. So when I talk about my course that is gonna be going out on the 12th, that will be live. But for me, what I did in this week's previous email that I went out on the 5th, I believe it was, I basically started teasing and kind of talking about the course that's gonna be dropping on the 12th. And I included a really easy way for people to add a calendar invite um, to their calendar so that way they get notified of when the course is actually live. So I'll walk you guys through exactly what that looks like and kind of how it took place. Um, so the app that I use was called um, Calendar Snack. Uh, I have no affiliation with them. Um, I'm sure there's other tools. It's just the one that I use. But basically what you do is you click on Start Snacking and that will take you here. And you have to just follow these steps to be able to get your kind of your account set up and whatnot. So for me, I took the place of adding all my kind of details to this invite, write the title, and then all you have to do is, which you will go through the directions here, is you have to invite this email to the invite, right? So it's me and then this email, and then they'll automatically send you this email follow-up saying your calendar snack is ready, right? So if you click on that, that will take you kind of to your dashboard and whatnot. Um, and you can go here for send, right? So I just clicked on the grab and go link, and that allowed me to send it with an email. So if we look at the email, right? So I have my typical kind of newsletter content, right? Really cool copywriting video. If you haven't watched that, go to my YouTube channel and pull that up. Highly recommend it. So that was the first content. And then here, as I mentioned previously, I talk about my course that's launching on the 12th. Again, you might be watching this on the 12th, 13th, or further into October. Um, and basically what you do is if you click on this, that will open up the invite to so Chase Diamond email marketing course launch, you know, enter your email, right? RSVP, that will send in an invitation to the email. And then it has all the details on like when it starts, when it ends, you know, and all the important details. So in your inbox, this is how it will look. Chase at Chase Diamond, Chase Diamond's course, right? This is the dates, you know, here's how to get the link to the landing page. You know, here's how you can get $100 off for my launch special. And then here's the link to actually purchase the course. So someone will actually get a calendar invite kind of reminder notification if they've enrolled. And then in here, the, also the really cool thing is if you go over here to count, you can kind of see how many different people have actually done this. So for example, um, if I refresh this, we'll see that there's been 61 people that have actually submitted their info um, and have all their emails here and whatnot. And then it actually even shows you like of those people, um, like how many of them actually have done each step. So it's kind of kind of cool, right? So go here to count, you know, where they come from landing page. And then you can actually even see like the metrics of you know, who RSVP. So 15 people have said yes. The remaining people have either said no or one person has said maybe. And then again, on my notification on my phone, on my computer, I'll get the invite notification on Monday. So it's just a really great way to reinforce the fact that something's happening. So one really great use case of this could be like a product launch email. So say, for example, you want to do like a hype email for a product that's coming up. You could actually say like, be the first to know about our product dropping, you know, send yourself the invite. And I'm going to pull up an email that actually did that. Um, so give me one sec. I'm going to pause this. I'll come right back. All right, so now I've pulled up an actual e-commerce email, right? The first example we went through was me for my newsletter and how I utilized it. And now here um, from Perfect Keto, what, you know, new delicious keto treats, when, October 5th, right? So this email was sent on September 30th, right? So save the date. You know, if you want to add and click here to be the first person to know, right? So I'll be there. So you click on this for them. Again, same kind of setup. You know, you enter your email here. Right, you RSVP, and then you'll get the details. So this is a really great way to kind of tease a product and allow people to add it to their calendar. So that way, you know, you're going to send another email on the 5th or for me on the 12th, um, reminding people that it's live. But this calendar will just reinforce the fact that this is happening. So again, I really hope this helps. This is pretty interesting. I've actually already had a few people from my calendar invite, even though my course is not technically live today on the 8th, um, purchase with the code. And I anticipate, right, of the 61 people on Monday, that they're all going to, you know, hopefully buy or a percentage of them will, will buy. And I'm using a unique code for this calendar invite itself. Um, 
So here's 100 is the invite kind of code that I'm using for the calendar. And then when I push the email and I push on social, I'll use different codes to be able to attribute kind of the sale to each channel. So I hope that helps.